think Solomon's temple was built by Satan? Uh, who, who built the other megaliths? I learned a bunch of incredible things today that I bet you didn't know. One bit of trivia is that King Solomon's favourite temple was built by special demon technology, which Solomon controlled with a magic ring. The story starts with a spirit, or jinn, where we get the word genie. In one version, he was stealing gemstones because they allowed him to stuck out a little bit of the sun's energy. In another version, he was drinking the blood of a boy. Solomon linked. The root of vampire legend starts here, huh? Solomon, Solomon then prayed fervently to God to deliver the wicked spirit into his hands for punishment. At once his prayer was answered, the archangel Michael appeared before him and put into his hand the mightiest power that was ever ever was or shall be in this world, a small golden ring on set with a seal and great stone. And Michael said, Take this ring, O Solomon king, son of David, the gift of which the Lord has sent unto thee. Wear this ring, and all the demons of earth, both male and female, thou wilt command. Other sources describe the ring as made as pure gold, set with a single shamar stone, diamond perhaps, or the same heavenly green shamar stone that is said to be part of the temple. The stone was cut and set in the form of an eight-rayed star. On it, it was engraved the hexagon seal, and within that, four letters of the infinite name of God. And so Solomon burned this the seal into the neck of us as a brand of his sovereignty and the jinn from the moment he did that did his bidding and was given the task of cutting stones for the temple building up the temple Uranus is made to take the ring and brand Bezelbub the rule of demons once higher civil and angel, angel in heaven Satan Solomon now controls all the demons stone cutting technology God helped Moses by introducing him to Shammah a magical little worm that could cut stones with its glance. The demons did not know the whereabouts of any Shamar, but they suggested uh, contacting their king, Asmodus, another name for Satan. In any version of the story, Solomon's magic ring gave him powers to overfall the angels' demons who had access to the stone-cutting technology that enabled Solomon's temple to be built. This is important because in Jewish tradition, metal working and use of metal to brace the stones was forbidden. Only stones could be used, except normal humans didn't know how to make them. These myths suggest that people reacting to Solomon's temple said to themselves, gee, cutting and moving giant stones like that seems impossible. It must have been demons. Such a tradition would never have arisen if the king depended on normal methods of mass human labor. It is also interesting that they are described as magical little worms. If an ancient person saw stone cutting being done with a laser or electricity, they might describe it in this way, in a larger discussion of whom built the megalithic structures built all around the world during this time period, 1000 BC and prior. This may be evident of some other race of human beings or beings that are said to have higher technology. That such a race existed is mentioned over and over and over in the world literature, including the Bible, which frequently describes the race of giants that had lived in the area before them, which were hybrids made from fallen angels that mated with humans. Who these beings really were is uncertain, but the assuming is that they never existed is problematic. The Anamite king was furious, but nothing would persuade him. Nama, to part of Solomon, in the end of Anamite King, banished the couple to far away. There's a like dunes, they wandered there for a long time, hungry and miserable, but finally they reached a city not far from the sea. With little money they had with them, Nama bought a fish for their dinner. She opened the fish to clean it, and inside was a ring. Solomon looked at the ring, transfixed. This was his own protective magic ring, the one that was taken from him by Adamus. The demon obviously decided to throw it in the sea to get rid of it. Solomon put the ring on his finger and transported himself and his wife to Jerusalem, where Adamus masqueraded as the king for all these years, wearing the true magic, wearing the magic ring. He faced the demon and commanded him to assume his true form and leave the place. Wasn't there a similar sort of uh, thing in a um, uh, thing with Loki and um, Thor, where he, he uh, pretended to be his father? Asmodeus had no power to resist the throne, 
fled the palace and Solomon returned to his former throne, but not without a price. The sight of Asmus in his true form was so incredibly hideous that the king was terrified by nightmares for the rest of his life, and it required his guard to watch his room every night. He also had to make himself known to his new father-in-law, the Edomite king, which involved an unpleasant trial for the unjust banishing of the cook and his wife. But Solomon emerged from his own trials as wiser and more humble man, and he and Namar established the line that will eventually bring forth the Messiah. Cool. Thanks for watching. You have a fantastic day. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye now. 72 demons. The demons' names given below are taken from the hours Gota, which differs from in terms of number and ranking from the Awaya. As a result of multiple translations, there are multiple spellings for some of the names which are given in the articles concerning them. The demons, Versego, Searl, Donation are all new additions. Okay, so I've got one. So this is King Bao, two, Duke Argus. The Bao. Prince Vasego. Archeus Sigma. President Marbus. Described as the great president of hell. Duke Valfur. Marcus Amon. Duke Barbatus, King Paimion, President Bua, Duke Gershon, Prince Story, King Belleth. Rides a pale horse, hmm. Leia, Drake, a uh, Duke, Duke Zeppa, Count Boitus, Duke Bathan, Salus, Persian, Morax. So you get the gist of it all, and this is what the emojis are today every time you use an emoji you are helping to summon these spirits in back into the realm the demons are described as being commanded by four kings of the commandal directions Amon, east cross and west zimar north and gap south This is a previous video that I've made where I showed what they are when they've sort of converted. They're yeah, the seals. So please be very careful using these. I notice a few of my subs are using them. Please don't use them. 1 Kings 10.10 10 and 10.3 10, And when the Queen of Sheba heard the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to him with the hard questions. Solomon told her all of her questions. There was not anything he hid from the king which he had not told her. Now the weight and gold that come to King Solomon in one year was 660, uh, 603 score and 6 talents of gold. So I'll leave that one in the links for you in the descriptions, but please be careful. Try not to use them, please. Um, yeah, I think it was um, that new sub that made a channel to comment. Um, I notice they're using the emojis a lot, so please be careful, don't use them. Thanks, bye.